So here I am in the famed South Stand at Hong Kong Sevens, but this time with an iPad. Going to bring a bit of insight and flavour as to how the game of Sevens is changing this season. Now from Vancouver, there were 51% of tries scored with no breakdowns or rooks. Whereas previously, last season, it was at 63%. So a significant decrease of the amount of times teams are able to score without having that contest over the ball. Now one team who have well and truly embraced this and led their game plan around it have been Kenya. They are by far and away the best team at turning over possession in the breakdown. Accruing 32 turnovers this year, more than any penalties that they also get from the Rook. They rate in at 11% turnover of opposition ball compared to the nearest contenders, Fiji, with just 5%. Now what this does is mean they have the ball in better situations and from there we can show a few clips as to how they are best using the ball when they turn it over. The first clip against a very dominant United States restart, previously featured, William Bakker knows he can try and target the ball and manhandles Carlin Isles with Latua and Pinkham and two of the United States most physical against Mbaka and Sukuta. Mbaka wins that collision, leaves the ball wide open for Sukuta. Now at this point, it's an out and out 50-50. The Kenyans against the United States, who wants that ball the most? Sukuta showing how strong he is, ripping the ball away from Pinkham and securing ball for the Kenyans to throw back out wide. So it's all well and good having William Bakker and Sakuta, the big men of the Kenyan team, doing the hard work. But what this Kenyan team also have are the slightly more diminutive players, such as Nelson Oyo, able to get stuck in. And here, against Fiji, shows he does not shirk that work. He's out wide, staying nice and tight with his defensive line. And Moth Nathangi shifts on the ball to one of the series' most powerful runners, Ironi Sao. Odiambo chops him down and Nelson Oyo somehow manages to gather the ball, but looking at it more closely, we see just how good he is in this breakdown. The big number one for Fiji, six foot five, big powerhouse, comes in there for collision, and as Oyo throws the man down, gets his hands free, he is over that ball so quickly that he's able to secure it and ship it out again showing just how effective turnover ball can be in the game of sevens. The third and final clip goes back to those physical men, but again with a mention of Nelson Oyo. Once against the United States, the chop tackle gets Barrett down early and William Backer shows how dominant he can be. You do not want to get into an arm wrestle with the Kenyans because that is going to be the outcome. Taking two men, leaving the ball free for Nelson Oyo to do his more familiar piece, running in, diving into the corner. The one thing is for sure that Kenya embrace their physicality. They play to their strengths, and if you win the collision, you will often win the game.